My name is Kristen. I'm a senior here at Erskine. I'm Natalia. I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm also a freshman. Hi, I'm Mackenzie. I'm a junior. Um, I can start with us at the Science Attic. Um, a little bit about me. I'm class president for the juniors. I play soccer and basketball and I'm a part of a bunch of different clubs that we can talk about um, later. But this is a science attic. It's kind of its own separate thing, so we give it an attic name, so it's kind of closed off from everything else. But this is Miss Everlet's room. Hello. We're recording one to post later on. Oh, excellent. Hello. This is Miss Tripp's room. Whoa. This one isn't live. We're just recording it for later. What's up recording it for later? <laughs> We're doing a lab. Can't you tell? Awesome. A little bit. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Alright, Aiden. Hey Say hi to another tour group. Where are you guys from? We're just doing it um, to send out later. Oh, cool. So it's not live. But um, here is Mrs. Haskell. She teaches chemistry. Yeah, chemistry. Yeah, chemistry. Hey. Hey. You already turned on my Geiger counter? Sure. For you? All right, here we go. Which one do you want, gamma or beta? Gamma. Oh gosh, why do you have to scare me like that? Gamma. Hey. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Scary. Thank but you. It's cool. You're welcome. Come to Thank you. Thank you. This is Mr. Cho. Oh, they're doing robotics right now. Yeah. Oh, you can just peek in there. Small class. What? Like that long? Mm -hmm. um, I'll take you through the library and then we can switch. Um, so yeah, this is where all the science classes are. Um, if you decide to take Honors Lab Bio as a freshman, um, Ms. Tripp will probably be your teacher. Mark Pillsbury to the guidance office. Mark Pillsbury to the guidance office. If not, um, you'll probably you'll do integrated science with um, a couple different teachers. You have Ms. Chadwick, Mr. Soul, um, and Ms. Everett. So this is the library. This is where um, Ms. Benner talk to you guys about signing up for classes. We have a ton of different books. We have nonfiction over in these shelves over here and then fiction all the way around the back wall. Um, this is our librarian. This one isn't live, it's just posted for later. Okay. Hi, I'm Mrs. Shamus Douglas. I'm the librarian at Erskine Academy and I just want to welcome you to uh, probably what I think is the coolest place in the school. Um, you can come and judge for yourself. And if you do, Introduce yourself, and I want you to feel super welcome. So, come and see us. Thank you. Welcome. All right, we can switch out, and you want to do the global wing? Sure. Okay. All right. So, again, I'm Kristen. I'm a senior. I've been here all four years. Um, a little bit about me. I have been in EA leadership for three years. I played soccer. I did wrestling, and I'll be playing tennis this spring. Um, I've done a couple clubs here and there, not a whole lot. I participated in, um, like mostly my freshman year, but they're definitely fun and you should definitely do them. I enjoyed them a lot. So we're approaching the Global Studies Social Studies History Wing. He teaches um, like AP history, which will take uh, AP history, or TC history, which will take your junior year. He teaches, I think, CP history for freshmen. Does he still do that? I think so. Anyways, that's Mr. Courier. He's also, I think, the track coach and cross country. Yeah, cross country coach. Um, that's still him. This is Mr. Ratu. He also teaches history. <laughs> this is Miss Clark. She teaches honors social studies for freshmen and a couple other social studies classes. She teaches psychology, which you can take either your junior or senior year, and that's super cool, super fun. You should definitely take that. Um, okay. I think that's films. Oh, it. Who teaches it? Miss Jackson. Oh yeah, so Miss Jackson, and she teaches sophomore global studies, I think, for honors and CP. Yeah.
Um, so yeah, you'll have to take three global studies classes while you're here. Um, and mostly you take those uh, your freshman, sophomore, and junior year, but sometimes, depending on what fits into your schedule, sometimes you end up taking one your senior year. Or if you're really into history, you can take it all four. She ju did just say that this is the math wing. We have several math classes here. We have Mr. Bailey, who does teach honors algebra two that I know of. Hi, Mr. Bailey. Hello. Um, and we have Miss Tibbetts, who also teaches algebra and history calculus. Calculus. Um, Miss Dale. And this is Miss Dale. We're recording right now, so make sure you look for this in the recording cam. Okay. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Did you want to switch up? Yeah, sure. Okay. So do I know? Do I know? Okay. Yeah, we can do. So we're gonna check out the wood shop right now. Um, Mr. Barden is our wood shop teacher, and he has a really cool room, and it's really big. So we're gonna see if we can sneak in there. There's tons of different bath bathrooms around the school. You'll find one tucked in like every other corner. There's one right here for the girls and the boys um, as you enter the wood shop. So, just gonna see if we can sneak in here. Three, two, one, do it. Here we go. Hey, come on in. Thank you. We're recording a tour, so it's not live. I'm sorry. With the mask on, my ears don't work. It's just not live, we're just recording them. Oh, okay. What class is this? Kirsten? Yeah. But well, you were Ray. Why are you doing it on the cohort A then? Oh, I'm here for the tour. Oh, that's cool. Is this leadership? Are there kids there? No, we're just recording. Do them on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can come around. Don't be nervous, Tom, but you're being video -shaped. Oh, you're crazy, right? Yeah. I don't know you. I'm Anna. Anna? You are? Natalia. Natalia? Pretty tough chick spot. <laughs> don't get it so close, really. It's tip of the blue where it's hot. Alright. You know, way too long. Head down to the mixed hallway by the freshmen, and then we'll head outside. Um, just some things about the shop. Uh, Mr. Barton, he teaches all kinds of really cool things. He teaches custom wood. Um, so you get to like make things with wood. That's pretty cool. He teaches things like plumbing. Um, a lot of like household things that you might need to know. Uh, screen printing. There's just like so many things that Barton teaches and it's super cool, super fun. Um, they're all electives. So you probably won't take many of those your freshman year, but you'll definitely want to take some your sophomore, junior, and senior year. And anything you take in the shop counts as one of your fine arts, so if it's not a full year, you can take trimester classes, and those will add up to the eventual one credit that you need as a student. This is Ms. Gray. She teaches math. This is Mr. Childs. He also teaches math classes. Do you need some Ms. Ray teaches... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Ray teaches, if you decide to take um, Honors Algebra 2, I believe, as a freshman, she'll be your teacher most likely, or Mr. Bailey. Um, this is Mr. Dutil's room. It looks like it's empty right now. Or Ms. Wood behind this wall teaches English. So we're heading up to the main entrance. Um, right now we're downstairs, but upstairs is where you'll be coming in if you take the bus. So. Here is our infamous, infamous up and downstairs. So the upstairs are on the right by the women's bathroom, and the downstairs are on the left by the men's bathroom. So we'll always go up these stairs, and we'll always go down those stairs. So this is the main entrance. If you want to show them what's happening. Outside, and you want to show the door? Oh, sure. So, as you're entering Erskine, the Fine Arts Building is to your right. So, 
Now in the fine arts building, there's an upstairs and a downstairs. Upstairs is Nord. We'll show you him. He loves the attention. <laughs> um, he teaches drama, which is an elective, a really fun one. And With Kristen? Wow. And McKenzie, favorite favorite. Hey, you guys are in drama. This is a tour. You guys are in drama class right now, and I've got someone performing online, so I'm going to kind of speak low. If you want to listen to it, it's kind of low. I'm sorry. Uh, but this is drama class. Uh, we offer one class a year where you can get it as a fine art credit. And yes, freshmen can take it. I've got a few freshmen in the room right now. Uh, we also do drama club, uh, which is if you look on stage, we're getting ready for our next show. It takes place in like a basement interrogation room. It's wicked funny. If you guys want to see it, have your teacher send me an email and I'll send them a link. Okay? Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Kristen's going to go down that way. Okay. Um, Kristen's going to show you the art room which is downstairs below Nord's classroom. Mm -hmm. Right, so Norid is, he'll be a freshman advisor next year. He's my advisor this year. And so what we have is we have like home rooms or advisees that we have for all four years. And so you keep the same teacher all four years and it's like a family environment. And we get together every day and just have a good time, you know? Sometimes there's like things we have to do and sometimes we just hang out and it's super fun. Um, Norid also teaches English. So you might see him your sophomore year. And then this is like visual arts down here. It's another virtual group. So this is Mr. Minzy's room. Uh, he's not here right now, but he teaches things like clay. He teaches art one, just some visual arts classes. She teaches visual journaling, um, watercolor, and clay. And clay, more art classes. Um, so I think I'm going to mention this, but you have to have one art class for your four years here, and you can take that through three trimester classes, or you can take a full year of one of the art classes. I can show them the gym if you want. Yeah. Okay. So, sports that we offer, cross country, golf, field hockey, and soccer in the fall. Basketball, cheering, swimming, wrestling, and indoor track in the winter time. And then we have basketball, oh sorry, baseball, softball, track, tennis, and lacrosse in the springtime. So we're going to head over towards the gym. I know it seems like a lot of hallways, but it's really just one big X. Um, so you'll get to know it really easy. Um, you won't um, get lost really after a week. You'll be fine getting to all your classes. But we are approaching the English slash science hallway. Um, this is for Bailey again. This is Chadwick. Um, she teaches, you might have her for your freshman year for integrated science. There's Mrs. Long. You might have her for your freshman year in English. Um, here is Mr. Soul. He teaches chemistry. Hi. Oh. Have you told them about the door decorating contest? I'm not. Do we need to see the winners? It's still up? No. Well, no. The door's not up, but. Did you mention who won? <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. We did. Thank you. All right, Thanks, so speaking guys. of the golden doorknob, that's one of our winter carnival competitions. So winter carnival is a big thing here at Erskine, and it goes on from the fall when you get to school all the way until February vacation. This year it's a little different because of COVID, but it's a bun of, bunch of um, different things that we do for fun during the school year. And it's just a friendly competition between all the classes. Um, 
I am junior class president, so it's a little bit more competitive for me because um, the juniors need to pull this one up. Here we are entering the gym. Um, they're doing a carnival event. So ping pong, or a bunch of different things. Ping pong, So you'll take that your freshman year, um, but there's different electives that you can take in the gym. You can take um, advanced PE, or we call it activities for life this year. Um, that's just a fun thing. If you enjoy gym class, you can do it as an upperclassman. Um, but Miss Colvin and Mr. Skates will be your PE teachers. Um, so this is like a little hall behind the gym. Uh, here we have bathrooms, um, more bathrooms. So when you take gym as a freshman, before and after gym class, you're going to come into the locker rooms. We have three locker rooms for each gender. We have the men's locker room um, for like teens. We have the one with like the bathrooms and the showers and stuff for after sports, if you want to shower after sports or whatever. And then this is a PE locker room. So after PE, you'll come in here and you'll change. We have the exact same thing on that end of the hall in reverse for the females. Um, here's the trainer's room. So this is Chris Semitelli. He's our athletic trainer. So if you're ever hurt during like sports or whatever, you can always just come in here after school. He will help you like recover or if you want to work out and just like strengthen yourself, he also helps set up plans for that. Um, so you can see the locker rooms for the females on this side. And then uh, we are approaching the music room. So this is where like band, chorus, uh, those sort of classes happen. Uh, I do they count as arts? Yeah. Okay, so those count as an art credit. So if you're into music, instead of like visual arts, this is an option. You can peek in. Yeah, you can go ahead. So there's a whole bunch of music options here. Um, and then really quickly we have the multi-purpose room which is used for a whole bunch of things like cheer and wrestling practice will happen in here. Um, sometimes ceremonies, ceremonies yeah, just, just things. It's a room that a multi-purpose room. There you go. So you need 22 credits to graduate. Um, at least six credits a year. Uh, so you'll have at least, you can have at most two study halls, um, but you don't have to have any study halls. You could have all eight classes full. I recommend having a study hall. It helped me a lot. Um, what else? Oh, health classes. We can talk about those even though we haven't looked at the health class yet. Um, I would recommend taking those your freshman year, and I think a lot of people agree with that. But if you don't, if they don't fit your freshman year, definitely take them your sophomore year. Um, <laughs> um, Do you talk about the difference between honors and Oh yeah, so we offer honors classes, CP classes, and college credit classes. Um, so the college credit classes will open up when you're a junior and you can take them your junior or senior year. They offer um, a couple different types. We offer AP classes where there's like a huge test at the end of the year or TC and KGCC classes. Either way, they can be put towards college. And so that's really nice. But as a freshman and sophomore, you'll have the option to do either CP classes or <laughs> um, honors classes. So the difference between that is honors are going to be a little more heavy on the workload. You're going to be a little more responsible for passing things in on time and that sort of thing. Um, I think you should probably talk to your teacher if your teacher knows, your, your, knows you best and knows your academic abilities best. 
So talk to them or talk to a student here at Erskine. They're more than willing to help you out with selecting what's best for you. Um, what's this wing even called? Uh, English. I can do that and then I'll capture it and she doesn't have next to me. Yeah. Cool. So this is the English-ish room. Um, we have some English and some German. Um, here is Mr. Blair's room on the other side of this wall and Miss Porter is the other side of this wall. They both teach um, English classes. Um, here's some door decorating, which is part of our winter carnival that Mr. Soul told you he was the proud winner of. Um, over here is Miss Newcomb Lane. She teaches English as long as well as German, excuse me. Um, so we'll talk about the languages that we offer in a little bit. Um, and now we're entering the cafeteria. My personal favorite part of this, that's the Cantabs, another winter carnival event. Uh, the cafeteria is a great place. Um, we have amazing food and it's closed down right now because we already had lunch time. But I can show you guys what it would look like a little bit. So we have the drinks over here, the usual um, chocolate milk, regular milk, orange juice. Sometimes we have Capri Suns, which is a great plus. And then we have extra drinks that you can purchase with your lunch money, um, as well as in the cooler over here. And then we'll have a bunch of a la carte items um, ice cream, chips, um, smoothies, yogurt, cookies, a um, bunch of different stuff. And then we'll disperse and eat in the cafeteria, um, or you can go in the library if you'd like to eat. We have four lunches, um, usually in a normal year. Right now we have five because of COVID, um, but that's just to spread the kids out more. Um, you'll eat from 11 to 12.30, anywhere in between there, um, depending on what lunch you have. And those are gonna be in the middle of your third bot class. So we're gonna head out this way and show you guys the home ec building. Senior seminar, I believe, and we have special ed junior up judgment. here. Yep, junior judgment. And then we also have our nurse's office in the home ec building. Yep. Um, we can go around here. I don't know if we said this earlier, but this is where the buses will drop you off if you do take the bus to school. Um, the front office is right there, so we'll get here, go through the front entrance, and find your home room. Here is the home ec building. Um, here we have our nurse, Mrs. Austin. Oh, there's some hiding over here. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you. Um, here is the home ec building with Mrs. Childs. Um, can we sneak through? We will ice them and um, do some piping oh, techniques and stuff. Yeah. So this is making class, but there's a bunch of other cooking uh, classes too. And if you pay attention and do a good job, it's usually delicious. Thank you. <laughs> So as a freshman coming in, it was a little bit daunting, especially because me personally, I came from a really small school, but the advantage to Erskine I found is that all of the teachers were really welcoming and everybody, like all of the upperclassmen knew, like they know what freshmen are going through so they can help if you need anything. So on the first day, the teachers will be really helping and showing you where your classes, directions, it may seem scary at first as the classes and the school is really big, but you'll get the hang of it, but it might be a little scary on your first day. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so this is the very front of the school. So as soon as you enter the main doors, you're going to see the main office where they do attendance, um, a whole bunch of stuff like that. There's Mr. Bonson, he teaches his Global studies, social studies. So it's right there. Um, and then this is Mr. Jorgensen and Mr. Dutel. They um, are there to help you with your academics if you're like falling behind or if you just don't understand something. You can sometimes go and see them um, during a study hall and they'll help you out with that. So, like we talked about health, this is Miss Matt's room. 
This is where you'll be taking your health classes. So this is Mr. Parody. He teaches English um, for freshmen and for juniors. And seniors depending. And seniors depending. <laughs> This is Ms. Stevenson. He teaches Spanish. This is Ms. Lawrence. She also teaches Spanish. And then this is our French teacher. And French does hold French 1 through French 5, depending if you go higher. Oh, yes, that is true. Um, what else? I think we need to get breakfast. It's really just a break, really, from me. This is Miss Stout. Hi. <laughs> We're just doing a recording for later. Oh, cool. I have Miss I'll have um, and then this is the guidance office and you're gonna come here all the time for like your high school transcript for setting up your schedule um, for all sorts of things in here we have Miss Benner we have um, Miss Sutter, Ms. Sutter Ms. Holtham, Ms. Holtham. Or just a whole bunch of people are going to help you throughout your whole high school career they're gonna be here all the time um, we have Mr. Vogel he Runs a few clubs. He does special education. Um, and then here's Miss Nally. We've talked about junior judgment, sophomore selections, and senior seminar. She helps with some of those. Um, teaches a couple of those classes. What hey, is this from? This is just a recording, actually, for those that need it. Oh, do you want me to say my? Feel? Sure. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> Action. This is Junior Judgment. I also teach sophomore selections. There are two mandated classes. We talk about career pathway. Right now we're talking about credit and credit cards and credit scores and all that good stuff. Um, we talk about taxes. Um, but I also teach introduction to business, um, accounting class, a law class, and a Photoshop class. I'm also the FBLA advisor. We, um, two years ago, I took my students, Future Business Leaders of America, to Disney, and we did behind the scenes, talked with some of their CEOs, and it was really a neat experience. We're hoping to go next year, if we can get this whole thing with the mask and everything figured out. So, not up to me. Um, I also am the advisor for the LEO Club, that is a community service oriented um, group, and we meet on Wednesdays at 11.30 in Google Meets, but we also have done two service projects. So get involved with us, whatever school you decide to go to. We hope you come here, but good luck wherever you go. Thank you, Mrs. Malley. You're welcome. All right, so like Mrs. Malley said, we have a ton of different clubs, and we really encourage you to get involved. Um, I am a part of math team, cooking club, student leadership, which is what we're doing right now, um, student council, um, BFS, Girl Up Club, and some other things that we offer, drama, like Mr. Noor talked to you guys about, um, Leo Club, speech and debate team, um, chess club, and some other things, robotics, like we, got, we showed you in the other room. Um, we have a ton of different clubs, a ton of different sports, and that's what really made me choose Erskine, and I'm sure a lot of students who came in. Oh, yeah, okay. And along with that, and the fact that we have tons of um, college courses that we offer here at Erskine to help you get that head start as you go into college. So I know that looks really far ahead, but as you make your choice, think about all those different things of why um, you should choose Erskine because there's a ton of different reasons, and we hope that you do choose um, Erskine as you look for a high school. So if there's nothing else, I think we're good to sign off.